Hello. Welcome to GNN. Where today's story is about the child abuse case of Justine and Annabelle Scudder's parents. There are some parents who punish their children for the most minor mistakes, or no reason whatsoever. And punishing them to the extreme, treating them if that they are far worse than Donald Trump, and worst of all. They make their child have a punishment day where they make their child do dangerous harm to them, for example, forcing their child to drink hot sauce, negative coal or very hot showers, nappies, getting expired foods, beating them up, paper spraying their eyes, or violent punishments like running them over with a car, killing them with a firearm, posting embarrassing videos out of them on social media, and more. The victims of the child abuse case we are looking at is Justine and Annabelle Scudder. The parents are identified as Alan and Catherine Scudder. There are also teachers and school staff who abuse or assist their parents to help abuse their children too. The names of the school staff are identified as Mr. Butler who is Justine and Annabelle's teacher and Principal Kate who is the principal of the school. There is a kid who snitched on Justine in school and getting them into even more trouble at school and with their parents. The kid was identified as Oscar Rodriguez. There are also three officers who are also involved in the child abuse case in Vion City. The suspects are identified as officers Mike, Simon and Tony. Instead of helping Justine and Annabelle, they help their parents by giving them punishment days, allowing child abuse, and refusing to arrest their parents and letting them suffer. We will now show you the videos of the victims being tortured by their parents, but just a reminder. You will find this video very disturbing. What you are seeing is the amount of torture that is being placed on Justine and Annabelle Scudder by her parents. This is from Thanksgiving when Justine's parents threw her in an oven. There you will see Annabelle standing up against her abusive parents. Where after that, her dad named Alan Scudder pushed her down the ground and beating her up. This act is considered cannibalism. This is a photo that shows Justine and Annabelle being forced to sleep outside in their summer clothes during a snowstorm which caused them to get hypothermia. This happened just because Justine's sister Annabelle was being nice to her and showing her respect according to her parents. This is proof that Justine's parents were abusing their daughters on purpose. And if you want to see some proof that they were planning on putting Justine and Annabelle out of the snowstorm at night, I have a clip for you all to watch. Yeah 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 It's finally gonna snow. This time we're not getting very little snow, instead, we're gonna get 8 inches. I'm so excited. So, freaking, excited. And I have the perfect plan. When the storm starts, I'm going to put Justine and Annabelle outside in the cold cold weather, and they will be so freezing out there. No jacket, no winter clothing. I will make them put summer clothes on, and they will stay out all night. Oh boy, I can't wait for this. What a perfect plan, Sonny. Here's my plan. I wait till the storm comes, and before I put them outside, I'm gonna make Justin wear summer clothes, including Annabelle too. The reason why I'm doing this to Annabelle as well, is because she is also criticizing my pay grading, and she is also calling us child abusers, and Justine is supposed to be living this life. So that will teach Annabelle a lesson, and Justine will learn that snow is a favor in winter. That sounds so mischievous, you should do this to Justin and Annabelle. Yep, and I won't forget, and I won't tell them until the time comes. So why do you need me to wear these clothes? It's not summer. Because at 9pm, you and Justine are going outside in the snowstorm coming tonight, and will spend the entire night outside while I relax with mom inside the house. What? What did you just say? I said, there is a snowstorm coming tonight, and you'll go out with Justine in the weather at 9 p.m. and spend the entire night outside. Are you out of your mind right now? There is no way me and Justine are going out and spending the entire night in the snowstorm that will be coming tonight. We both will get hypothermia, do you really want me to suffer out there? Annabelle, that's exactly what Justine said to me. I don't care. 
You run just in speeches of bull shit, and you'll still go outside to spend the night in a snowstorm, so I will wait until the time comes, and then I will get you and just in outside then. You understand that? If you don't, you will be grounded for all of spring. Ugh. Fine. I guess I will have to suffer throughout the night. How the fuck am I going to sleep outside in the cold weather? You and Justine will have to figure that out yourselves. This video shows Justine running away from her parents but was getting chased by red evil cops. One of the officers was shot by Justine because they are evil. The video shows Justine trying to run away from her abusive parents because she could not stand them anymore abusing them. Did they notice that she was being child abused? I have a clip of her attempt to try to report her parents. You are also about to see a clip of what happened after Justine called 911 on her clinically insane and abusive parents. All of you guys, I got a report from a little girl that you are all child abusing parents. I am going to remove you both from your kids, because you are not fit to be around them. What? Are you kidding me? Why are you calling the US child abusers? We are the parents of Justine, a super, super, bad, girl, that caused horrific crimes. Oh. You are the parents of Justine. I know Justine, are you talking about Justine Quinn Scudder? Yes. Of course. She caused so much horrific crimes in the past, like blowing up Carvel ice cream with a bomb, prank calling 911 on her principal, having a heart attack, and furthermore. Now if you excuse me, I need to call Justine, downstairs right now. Just. Dean, Quinn, Scudder. Get your little ass downstairs now. Not to mention. Her parents had the excuse to call Justine's actions horrific crimes in reality. Her parents' acts of child abuse are horrific crimes. Police officer, arrest my parents now before they cause more child abuse to me. Absolutely not. How dare you call 911 on me? Try to report your parents, thinking you're gonna get out of this living hell. You are supposed to be living this life for causing major trouble back in October and November of last year. Now, your parents will decide on your punishment after reporting your parents, trying to get them out of your life. Have fun suffering in this living hell of yours for all the troubles you caused. The scene right there is proof of a police officer who is being wanted for being a corrupt officer for siding with Justine's maniac parents as you see here. Instead of arresting her parents and charge them for child abuse, the officer instead listens to Justine's parents which is enough evidence to charge the officer for corruption and allowing child abuse to Justine's life. And if that's bad enough for Justine's scutter, Mr. Butler and Principal Kate also helped make Justine's life even worse. For the dumbest reasons, her teacher named Mr. Butler would give her very hard tests, send her to detention and Principal Kate would suspend her for the most simple reasons. One of her classmates named Oscar Rodriguez has been snitching on Justine to get her into more trouble with George. One example is when he snitched on them after getting banned from recess. That is considered bullying. And stop crying right now before I send you to detention. Whoa. Guys what is going on here? Justine is outside while banned. Get the teacher now. Oscar, why are you being such a snitch? I am not banned. This from is a clip of Justine being snitched on by no other than Oscar. A classmate of Justine's who was also getting Justine into more trouble not only with Principal Kate but with her parents where they would give her punishment days. And last but not least, the scene shows Officer Simon, another wanted corrupt officer gave Justine another punishment day after she killed her parents in her last punishment Officer Simon brings Satan to revive her parents and make them very evil parents, causing them to do more child abuse to Justine and later to Annabelle. Oh, and I forgot one more thing. This is the room they keep Justine in. Disgusting right? Her bed is filthy and the mattress looks life if it were taken from a junkyard. Her room is in poor condition and her parents always treat her like a criminal. Meet the two child abused victims. Justine and Annabelle Scudder. They are both age 6. Justine was 23 years old until she got de-aged into a 6-year-old by her parents.
and these are the wanted criminals of the victims Justine and Annabelle Scudder along with their names. And these are the wanted officers and their names. The red and evil officers' names are unknown but if anyone knows their names, report it to the Assassin's Task Force Agency immediately and be warned that the red and evil officers are armed and extremely dangerous. These five officers are being wanted for corruption and for allowing child abuse. Officer Simon is being wanted for giving Justine a punishment day and making her parents red and evil parents. All right, everyone. That's all I have to say since this is likely going to be more heartbreaking for more viewers to see. Now we will go live with some interviewers at the City Hall where people are protesting about the wanted child abusers. Bia.